In this video, we're going to be top types of covalent bonds. Single covalent bonds, double covalent bonds, and triple covalent bonds. And what these are referring to, single, double, and triple, is how many electrons an element is putting in to that bond. So our first example is going to be of a single bond. And in this bond, we are going to have two fluorine atoms. So if you remember, fluorine have seven valence electrons. So I'm going to, just like our Lewis dot diagrams, I'm going to put seven dots around my fluorine. And if we remember, our fluorine want to have eight valence electrons to fill their octet, to fill their energy level. So to get this to happen, they will need to share a valence electron. So if they share one, and we can count it up for each, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They both fill their octet, and we can write it out on paper. Let's write it out how we would write it out on paper. We would write the bond, so you draw a single bond, just like that, just a line, and then you can draw your electrons on the edge. So some vocabulary that we will need to learn is that each one of these, I'm just going to draw a little circle around it. This is two electrons and we are going to call that a lone pair because electrons like to pair up together when they are in molecules. So this will be a lone pair. This will be a lone pair. This will be a lone pair. You got a lone pair here, a lone pair there, and a lone pair there. And this right here is going to be called a single bond. And in our single bond, you have to remember how many electrons are in each single bond. So if you take a look up here, you could see two electrons are in our single bond. So I'm just going to write here two electrons. So we remember how many electrons are counted as when we are counting our electrons around each element. So that would be uh, a molecule of fluorine, two fluorine atoms covalently bonded. Let's do another example. Our next example is going to be a bond between two oxygen atoms. And when oxygen bond together, this will be the oxygen that we have in the air around us. Because one oxygen is not very happy, but when it bonds with itself, it can fill its energy level. And you can have an oxygen molecule and that would be much happier. So oxygen have six valence electrons, so we're gonna put six around each. And then I'm gonna shift these around, and then we can share a valence electron. So if we share electrons like that, we can count it up and we can see that each oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they are not filling their octet yet. They still need one more electron each in order to fill their octet. So what they can do is they can both share another electron with each other. 
So now they're both sharing two electrons. And if we count that up, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they are both happily filling their octet. And if we wanted to draw this out, we would have two oxygens. And the way we draw that double bond is with two lines. And then we could draw our lone pair of electrons on any side we want. I'm just going to draw it like this, though. And that would be how we draw a molecule of oxygen. So remember, these are our, our lone pairs of electrons. And this is a double bond. And I want you to remember each of these lines counts as two electrons. So you can imagine each line between them is two electrons. So when you have a double bond, you're going to count it as four electrons. So I want you to remember that. And we'll do another example here. Another common molecule. So our next example is going to actually be nitrogen. So again, nitrogen is not happy with how many electrons it has. Nitrogen has five valence electrons. So we know there's a lot of nitrogen in the air, so it needs to bond to something else to become stable. So oftentimes nitrogen bonds with itself to form a nitrogen molecule. And I believe it makes up over 70% of our air. So this is a very, very common molecule. Uh, so you can see they, they would share, if they shared one electron and we count up how many valence electrons each of our nitrogen have, we could have one, two, three, four, five, six. And you would find the same for this nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five, six. And they want to have eight. So they need to do more bonding, do more sharing of electrons in order to fill that eight up. So if we do a double bond, they each share one more. So they're sharing two each now. We can count it up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're almost there. So if they share one more, that will be a, what we call a triple bond. And that's the most amount that they could share. There's no such thing as a quadruple bond. We're not going to bond four. We're not going to be sharing four each. So a triple bond is as high as it can go. So if we count now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that is what a molecule of nitrogen would look like. And when we draw out the diagram, we'll have both of our nitrogen. And to draw our triple bond, you can imagine it is three lines. And then we want to draw our other electrons here. We're going to call those our lone pair. And I want you guys to remember each, remember each of these lines counts as two electrons because they're both putting one in so this is our triple bond and i want you to remember that is six total electrons in there that's a lot of electrons in a bond so that would be a molecule of nitrogen